All right, welcome back to Master Guitar. We're on 2600 Tuesday. Now you'll notice that I got a little bit of my attack on my envelope is up just a touch to make the notes kind of fade in. That's the way it's set right now on the ADSR. If I switch it and bring up my AR, Remember, you don't have to have your AR on. It blends in nicely, but, you know. So let's talk about how to get a good and decent tone out of this thing. So I got my ADSR up here. Now let's bring in my VCO1. My sync is off, by the way, and I'm on the 4012. I find I stay in the 4012 a lot, which surprises me. I thought I'd be in the 4072. But I really am not hearing much difference between the 4012 and the 4072. So, what I did was I brought up my VCO1. If you bring your VCO1 too high, see, it's kind of acting almost like a ring mod all its own. So. so, what I'll do is I'll bring my VCO1 just up a touch and that's it. VCO2 I usually bring to just above half and VCO2 over here I bring all the way up So you'll hear a big phasing tone out of this thing, which if I could play chords would sound amazing. So there you go. That's how to get your basic tone out of the 2600 when you're trying to get a good tone. And then I talked on one of the ones before about how to, you can get a little vibrato depth, vibrato delay, bring that up. Sometimes I like to bring my portamento up just a bit. And bring that to taste between somewhere between minimum and the full one quarter there. Now it sounds like a synthesizer. Actually, Mogish. All right, so I just showed you step by step how to build a tone. Really easy, really fun. And those who paid attention to one of my earlier settings will recognize this as the Lucky Man sound. And just play with the settings and see what you like. There you go. We'll see you next time.